Oh, Got him saying, wow. Everywhere I go. All right, we're done with that song. <laughs> okay. Hey pretty people, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you can join all the fun. So, let me take my hair tie off. So today I'm gonna be talking about my tips on how to feel confident no matter what. No matter what, point blank, period. So let's just get right into them. First things first, I wanna address this right off the bat. I think that this is the most important part to tackle and it is the hardest thing to overcome when trying to be more confident. So I'm just gonna throw it out there right away and that is to not care one bit what anybody else in this world thinks about you. It really is hard, especially if you're younger, if you're in your teenage years and you really tend to focus on that. Once you can overcome that and once you can just stop caring about what anybody else thinks about you, your self-confidence will skyrocket, I promise you. This will definitely start your confidence journey and that's literally what it is. It's a journey. Confidence fluctuates day in and day out. It's never the same. I wish it could be. I wish it could be high all the time for every single person, but it's not. Some days you have low self-confidence. You probably heard my cat in the back. Rusty, you wanna join? We're talking about confidence. I know you're confident, little girl. Come here, baby. You wanna be in a camera? It's been a while since Rusty's been on my channel. You know, she's the most confident kitty I know, so I'm gonna give her a little featured part. See, Rusty is really thick. She really thick, she's really heavy, but she's still so confident. <laughs> See, look at her. You loving this camera time, aren't you? <laughs> but like I was saying, confidence is such a journey. It is not the same throughout your life. Especially if you're a woman, we are hormonal creatures. We fluctuate in our hormones, which has a direct influence on how we feel about ourselves. So if you're PMSing or it's that time of month for you, you can just guarantee that your confidence is not gonna be what it normally is, and that is okay. If you just understand this and realize this, you won't beat yourself up as much once you start to grasp that understanding. How do you stop caring about what other people think? Because it's so hard, especially depending on where you're at in your life. So what you have to realize is that the people that you are caring about what they think are probably temporary people in your life. Having gone through high school and really caring what everybody thought and going through college where I kind of cared to a slight extent, I realize now that all those people that I put on a front for aren't even a part of my life anymore. Maybe they're a Facebook friend, that's about it. But besides that, I put all this pressure on myself for temporary people and that's just so stupid because you have one life and there's one thing that will be constant in that life and that is yourself. So don't care about what temporary people think. Care about how you feel because you are the only person that is gonna be there for yourself throughout your entire life. Once I realized this, I was like, okay, I could care less what these people think. They're not paying my bills. They're not adding joy to my life and they're only stressing me out, so. I don't care about them and what they think. So now that that's like out of the way, let me talk about some really specific tips on how to really just boost your self-confidence. So the first thing is you need to eat for your body. So this just means eating healthy foods that are nutritious, foods that will provide you good energy and will make you start to feel good about yourself. What you put into your body directly affects how you feel about yourself. When I ate like crap, I felt horrible. I was not as confident as I am now, now that I'm eating healthier and really trying to eat for my body instead of just eating for pleasure and eating for taste. There's definitely a difference between eating for your body and then eating for taste. Start incorporating good foods in your diet and you'll feel like you're putting in the work to start making yourself feel better and it will help you. But my next tip is to dress in a way that makes you feel comfortable and makes you feel beautiful. I know that there's a lot of pressure on us especially as women, to kind of fit the norm, fit the trends of today, and to wear what everybody else is wearing. But that's just really boring, and you don't have to do this. There's no rules to life in how to dress. So you need to dress in a way that makes you feel good. Not to please anybody else, but to please yourself. I personally... Rusty, why are you being like this? Scratching at the walls? Just being crazy. So you just have to find clothes that really suit your curves, suit your body, and make you look the best. You will not catch me in these Fashion Nova fits that these girls on Instagram are wearing because I know that that doesn't look good on me. I like what I like, and just because that works for them doesn't mean 
it's gonna work for me. Stick to what you know, stick to what makes you feel beautiful, and screw everything else. You don't have to fit in. Next is to begin working out with the idea of your health in mind and not weight loss. Do not start working out and think about losing weight because you are perfect the way you are. You are designed the way you are for a reason. So don't change that, but just try to help your health out by beginning or continuing to exercise in a way that makes you feel good. Don't do anything that you don't like. I hate running. I've ran in the past. I tried it again a few weeks ago. Totally hated it. Not for me. Never doing it again. And I'm gonna find something else that I like. Like yoga, swimming. Just find what you like and start thinking about your health instead of your body image. And once you start doing this for your health, you're gonna start feeling like you're putting in the work and you're giving your body what it needs. So once you start putting in the work, your body will reward you and you will start radiating confidence and just good energy from the inside out. And everybody is gonna be able to see that and you're gonna be able to feel it. You're gonna start feeling healthy and feel good about all the hard work that you're putting in and you're just gonna feel great. I know from personal experience that when I was eating like trash, and I was not working out. I felt just like weighed down, groggy. My mind was like foggy and I just didn't feel my best. I didn't feel confident. Once I started, once I made that change, just picked it up one day like that, it made me feel so much better and so much more confident. And honestly, once you start working out, you'll see that a lot of your problems that you're worried about that really knock your self-confidence down will start to go away. Say you have really bad breakouts and they're causing you to be less confident. I've been there. Once you start working out, your skin will improve, definitely. Will it be a thousand percent clear? Maybe not, maybe. I guess it depends on the person, but it will help you. And once you see improvements on something that is just frustrating to you and makes you feel not as confident as you'd like to be, you'll start to feel good and you'll start to feel like your work that you're putting in is paying off and that will definitely boost your confidence. So my next tip is to smile more and just radiate happiness, even if you are not a thousand percent confident that day. Just try to fake it because people will start to believe that you are. When you put good energy out, you get good energy back and that just makes you feel good. You know, the idea of faking it until you make it is true. Fake your confidence and your real confidence will follow. Pretend like you, you got this, because you do got this, you just, gotta show the world that you do. So next, I wanna talk about the people that you surround yourself with. So this kinda goes with what I was saying in the beginning of not caring about what people think. If you surround yourself with people who are judgmental, and who say bad things about you or others, that's just negative energy. You don't need that in your life. There's no room for negative people in your life. If the people who are most close to you are those judging you, get them out and you will see improvements to your self-confidence. But if they lift you up and make you feel great and beautiful and happy and just all these good emotions, then you're good. Once you find that and once you incorporate those people into your life, you're just gonna feel so good. I didn't learn this until I was in college, but the people who are the most judgmental, who are the meanest, who have the worst things to say, are actually unhappy with themselves to begin with. I mean, if you're happy, if you love yourself, why would you put that negative emotion onto somebody else? You wouldn't. You wouldn't try to bring somebody else down. And those people, who are talking crap, who have the most to say, are trying to bring you down to their level because they know that you as an individual are doing better than them in any category in life and they're jealous and they do not wanna see you reach for the stars in whatever area that they're worried about. You know, you can't worry about that. You cannot worry about other people and how they feel about themselves. All you can worry about is yourself. But just know at the end of the day that if somebody is talking crap about you behind your back, posting mean things, on your social media, whatever it may be, they are so unhappy with themselves that they have to spread that negativity to other people because they want other people to feel that way. Don't worry about them, just do you. And another point that I wanna make is that it is so hard as a young woman, even an older woman, women older than me can struggle with this too, but it's hard to be a woman, even a man, honestly, okay? It's hard to be a person in today's society. Society? I had to emphasize it for you. It's hard to be living in today's world where seemingly perfect people 
are just shoved in our face every single day. You'll scroll through Instagram, Facebook, and you'll see these beautiful, perfect people with these perfect lives. And it's hard to not compare yourself to these people, but it's just that. It's seemingly perfect because we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Social media is all fake. Things are edited, photoshopped, facetuned. So you have to know that nothing is as it seems. It's all a facade. And to just take it lightly, take it as a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. I don't know what the saying is, but you know what I'm saying. Take it lightly. Don't take it too seriously because it's all fake, girl. Air boy, whatever you are watching this, it's all fake. Another thing you have to realize is that you are you. You are designed to be yourself for a reason. You were put in this world to be you for a reason. And you have a purpose and you are unique. Nobody in this world, the billions of people that are here on this planet, nobody is like you. No one is you and no one can ever be you. And that is something that nobody can ever take away from you. You are you, you're meant to be you, so why not love you? If you were supposed to be like everybody else, you would be, and that would be boring. You're you, you're unique, you're beautiful, and you can never be replaced because you are designed in the perfect form just as you are. So I think that that's it. I think that I hit on all the points that I needed to today about self-confidence. You know, we all have things to work on. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's even close to perfect. We're all struggling with things, even if you don't see it. And if you have things that are worrying you, there's no shame. No harm in trying to fix it. If you feel like you hate your eyebrows, well girl, go get them tinted, go get them touched up. Taking care of yourself should be your top priority because like I said earlier, you are the only person in the world who will be with you from point A of your life to point B, the beginning and the end. So take care of yourself, love yourself, and the rest will just be easy. Whew, this was a long video, a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I hope that you guys got something out of it. I hope that you can take what I say and really process it and really incorporate it into your lives because I promise you it'll make a difference. And everybody's different. This works for me. It will probably work for you, some of these things, but maybe you don't need as much. Maybe you need a little bit more and that's okay because we're all different and it's all right. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure that you give this video a big old thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any more videos. Any more videos, because girl, you missed them all last week. <laughs> That's not what I mean. I mean subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Okay. And also I want to give a big shout out to Hannah for recommending me to do this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And you are this week's shout out. So thank you for supporting my channel and I appreciate you. So yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. Bye. You're beautiful, you're great, you're amazing. Don't forget it.